G'day guys, so today I want to show you the Real Robots Configurator and Firmware, which is our software that lets you build your own joysticks, game controllers, throttles, button boxes, basically whatever you like, and put them all together as a single USB device and never have to do a line of code to do it. So uh, let's get started. What I've done here is I've just grabbed a supply of buttons. I've got a button here, just a regular push button. This is a toggle switch. I've just put little pin headers on there so I can put it on a breadboard. You may have seen these guys before. These are quite common little joysticks. These have five pins. One for up and down, one for left and right, and it's also got a push button. And finally, this is just a regular potentiometer. Three pins. So here's what you want to do. I've already put a few of the wires in. So you see if I connect this here, what I've got there is a VCC, just to this VCC line here, and ground to this line here. And you'll see a few of my grounds are daisy chained. So this ground just goes to there and there, and it all makes sense in a minute. So this guy is gonna go, I'm not sure if you can see the pins on the bottom there, like that. So he's got the positive and the ground connected. This guy has got three pins, and we're gonna go positive, signal, ground. So he's gonna go on like that. I've got this toggle here. Now it only needs ground. So that's connected up to that middle pin. And finally my push button, and they've got two pins. And so he's connected to ground right there. And for our signals, this guy, he's got three. There's one, which is the left and right. That's gonna go to A0. The next one, which is up, oops, and down, it's gonna go to the next one here, which is a1. Now the next one is the push button. So I'm not going to use that for an analog pin. I'm actually going to run that over to pin number four over here. Now I've got one more analog pin, which is this middle one here. So we plug him in the middle and that's going to go all the way over here to A3. For the other side of this one, we'll plug him in there to number, what's that one? I've forgotten. Set four, five. And the last one, which can be this one or this one. And I'm just going to grab this one because it's closer. All right. And that's it. We're completely wired up. The next step is to connect it to your USB. Download the firmware in the link below and open it up in your Arduino IDE. So all you need to do here is go to Tools, pick the board, make sure it's the Arduino Genuino Micro, choose the port, make sure you've got the correct port, it will be different on your computer, and then upload. That's all we have to do here. Now what we do, we can put this one away and open up the exe file. And once you press connect, here we are. So I'll just test that button there. And you can see when I push that, it's changing down in the values there. So all I need to do is assign it a button And that's the button that will be sent as a joystick input. So I'm just going to go away now and open up the Windows little USB joystick detector thing. Open it up. And you'll see already when I push that button, button one's going off. So it's already acting like a joystick with no other configuration than that. So let's go through and set all our analog inputs, which are these first ones, A0, A1, A2. 
and these don't need to be input pull up. And you'll see, so play with the potentiometer there, the values are moving. Now you see this one actually doesn't go all the way to zero, it bottoms out. So I'm just going to put in a little bit higher min minimum value there. So there, now when it goes past 20, it will automatically be zero. And I'll make that, let's make that our throttle axis. And for this little joystick, you'll see we're getting the inputs through from that. And I'll just call that the X axis and the Y axis. And that's it, now we've got a throttle which will work in any game that accepts uh, throttle values. And there's our X and Y little joystick. Now I'm just, um, my throttle is working backwards to how I would like, so I've just pushed the invert button, and now that runs opposite. And my X and Y isn't sitting in the middle, so I'm gonna change my mid value here to match what my value is when it's at rest. So you see now the calibrated value is coming out to 11, which is halfway between 0 and 1023. So now the joystick's centering properly. So we can go ahead and configure this manually pretty simply. And the toggle switch, I'll just test that you can see, and let's make that button number 2. And that's it. All my buttons are now assigned to joystick inputs, and I can go and play whatever game I like. Now, if I want to revert, uh, invert the toggle so that the other direction means on, we just click that little tick. Now, I need to hit this button here, commit to EEPROM. It'll save all the current values, so when I reset, it'll still be there. Let's change the device name. And commit that as well. If you unplug it and plug it back in without committing, it'll all go back to whatever values it was before. So let's plug that USB back in now. And you can see everything's still working. So you don't have to go and program this every time. Once you program it once, you can unplug it, plug it back in, it'll, it'll remember all of this stuff. And I'll open up the configurator again, connect and you can see everything's still there. So you only need to use this when you're tweaking. It doesn't have to be running in the background all the time. It's just a, a single use thing. Okay, so I'll unplug that now. And let me show you the really cool feature. I've got here a little joystick that I've already put together. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open this one up so you can see inside. And it's quite messy inside, but you can see it's a, exactly the same kind of Arduino Pro Micro, wired the same way to all the buttons and inputs, but also to that plug down the bottom. So just keep that plug in mind. Now this is pretty simple. What I've got, I've got a ground there and a Y going to pin 2 and pin 3, which is our I squared C, SDA and SCL, and a red wire over to positive as well. which is exactly how the opposite one's wired inside the stick. So I'm going to plug that in. Now I've already run the configurator on the stick and I've assigned it an address, which is not zero. And you'll see now when I plug the USB into my breadboard, you see the controller shows up. Let me just close this and open it again. When I connect, You'll see now the stick is there as a subdevice, and it's got its own inputs and configuration there. And you can see I'm getting values from it now. So instantly, we've got two devices working in tandem. Yeah, all the buttons are working. Those are five-way hat switches. I've got a big push button there, my trigger. If I open this up, you can see I'm getting my values from here from the base and also from the stick. So from the computer's point of view, it's just one device. Now, you will see some of those buttons are going crazy there and that's because we've mapped them twice. That two is going nuts 
because there's a button number two on the base and a button number two on the stick. So let's just get rid of that. Go over there and just assign that to button 32 and 31. So there's no conflict now. And you see that's fixed now. So that button's working perfectly now. The toggle switch, the joystick, Easy as that. And you can keep wiring things together like this. It doesn't just have to be two. It can be three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, technically, you can address up to 255, um, but I'd say once you got a bit closer to that level, it would be a bit slower. It does take a small amount of time to do the communication. I haven't actually tested and hit a limit yet. It still runs beautiful and smooth. Uh, the maximum I've run is five so far. Let's unplug that and unplug that. And let's just get rid of that guy for now. And here's a base, which you may have seen me wire up in another tutorial. It's the same kind of thing. I'd win a pro micro in there. Let's put the stick on there. So it's connected the same way through pins two and three with the I squared C. And I've got my throttle here, which is just another base with an Arduino Pro Micro and a stick connected the same way. And I've got this cable. Let's connect them all together. Oops, upside down. Let's connect him into the USB. So this red base, that's my main unit, my one that's addressed zero. And let's open up the configurator and see what we can see. So you can see all four devices there, both bases and both sticks, each with its own configuration. And so each one remembers its own configuration. If you took off the blue stick and put on a different one, it would still remember. If I took off the black stick and swapped it with the blue one, put them on different bases, they would both still do the same things because they remember individually what they do. So you can see the throttle moving up and down there. I stick here with all the buttons working. My blue stick here with the buttons. And we can see everything's running perfectly to Windows there as well. And it shouldn't just be Windows. Anything that accepts HID inputs should accept this. I haven't tested it with all the consoles, but if it will take any normal HID controller, it'll take this. Now uh, you may notice that pins two and three are going pretty crazy there, and that's because they're doing all the communication. So I wouldn't recommend trying to use those as buttons, uh, but I have just left them there in the list. But yeah, if you see them going crazy, it's not because you've got some button loose, that's the communications running through it. All right, thanks for watching guys. Good luck, have fun.